Now to some breaking news that happened overnight. There was a gunfire at a local convenience store that happened last night. A 22-year-old man suffers a cut to his own head. Wow. And with that being said, nobody is in critical condition and nobody was in custody as of lately. And now to the latest on an update where a man by the name of Dondrick Massey Birch is being charged after that attack that happened last week. So with that being said, Birch remains in the hospital but is charged with aggravated assault. Our mirror will be unveiled later today, despite the fact that the fire happened in Kensington way too fast. You may recall it happened on the 24th of April of this year. So please pray for the family there. It's not likely to see fires like this. And the latest on a massive dust storm. Take a look at this on your screen. All that happened in Northwest Iowa. One word to describe this is insane. That is a haboob dust storm that you see on the screen. I never heard of that before, but to be honest though, that storm moved in for 70 mile per hour wind gusts and no visibility in that region. Holy smokes. And we're coming right back, folks, with lots more news coverage to come. But first, let's go over to meteorologist Larissa Brandu and then my aunt Chandler Lutz doing weather and traffic together. Go ahead, ladies. I'll be watching. We are tracking low visibility, especially up against the shore. I want to start us off, though, with Storm Scan 3 because we have just a few light showers and we told you that was a possibility throughout the day. And now we do have some light showers being detected out towards South Jersey, back towards Newcastle County, Delaware, extending into the area of Dover. So that's something to keep in mind, folks, as you walk out the door, take the umbrella while we're not driving a whole lot of rain. Rain is in the forecast for today. Visibility, now we can talk about this. Notice how it is pretty reduced along the shore. Dense fog are being detected, and that's been the case all morning long. In fact, that fog extends even as far north as the I-95 corridor. Use those low beams and just exercise caution out there. As far as temperatures are concerned, 50s and 60s, but 60s are dominating the board. During the height of the afternoon, we should be climbing into the 70s. Chandler, and once again, just a spot shower to round out the week this Friday the 13th. Oh, love, so love that, I have to say. But right now, we are following Delco delays. A new accident along the Blue Route has lanes closed in both directions right at Baltimore Pike. This is the team here. Emergency crews already arrived. There is an accident involving two vehicles. It looks like a vehicle actually went over the guardrail and into the median here. So a very messy accident involving injury. Just one lane is getting by, both northbound and southbound on the Blue Route. So let's take a look at that travel time. You're looking at about a half hour drive from 95 up to the PA Turnpike on the Blue Route northbound. Southbound, 25 minutes in that same or that opposite direction, I should say. So you will see the heaviest delays, of course, right by the accident area. Now we're finally starting to see delays for an accident we've been following since about 4 o'clock this morning. Northeast extension northbound. Lanes are partially blocked as you approach Quakertown. 